We're here today to honor the crew of the proud ship USS Utah. For years, in keeping with the wishes of the USS Utah survivors, this very simple yet elegant ceremony has been held at sunset on the eve before the day of the attack on December 7th. Typifying the Navy's bedrock principles of honor, courage, and commitment, those sailors of the USS Utah, without ceremony and most without recognition, did their duty under the most severe conditions. For 58 of them, it was their final duty. Today, during this beautiful Hawaiian sunset, we remember and honor them. USS Utah was commissioned in August of 1911 on the same day as her whole number, 31. She served with honor in the Atlantic during the First World War on both sides. The, battle fl the flagship of Battleship Division I Following the war, she conducted a variety of wartime readiness and peacetime missions on both sides of the Atlantic and South America. In 1931, she was converted to a target vessel where she helped train Navy pilots as a realistic target for exercises involved, involving carrier-based aviation units. Later in the 30s, she became an anti-aircraft gunnery training platform. Serving in the U.S. Pacific Fleet in the Hawaiian area, she became operational in 1941. On the morning of December 7, 1941, she took multiple torpedo hits that caused her to capsize in much the same position that you see her today. This afternoon, we remember the 58 crew members who died on this proud ship. At this time, I'd like to welcome Tom Leatherman, the superintendent of the Pearl Harbor National Memorial. Mr. Leatherman has been working for the Department of the Interior for more than 34 years, starting as a biological science intern in 1989 while still in college. Before moving to Hawaii, Mr. Leatherman served as superintendent at four National Park historic sites in the San Francisco Bay Area, including Port Chicago Naval Magazine National Memorial and Rosie the Riveter World War II Homefront National Historic Park. In October of 2021, he arrived here on Oahu as the permanent superintendent of the Pearl Harbor National Memorial. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Tom Leatherman. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the National Park Service, welcome to the USS Utah Memorial. The, this this uh, memorial here was originally commissioned by the Navy and constructed, and in 2008, the National Park Service assumed responsibility of managing the condition of the memorial as well as visitation. But it wasn't until about two years ago that we actually were able to start bringing people out to visit this, this site and to learn about this history directly. And I'm committed to continuing that effort and bringing more people out here. Um, every We do it three times a week now, um, and I think that um, it's really it's really our responsibility and our um, our commitment to honoring those who lost their lives here to make sure that we provide an opportunity for people to come out here to experience the the, the memorial itself and to pay their respects um, and I I have to say personally um, this is one of one of the um, the more moving memorials for me and in particular uh, there's a quote that's on this memorial. And if you, when you get a chance, I, I would encourage you to go and, and see the quote. And uh, because it, to me, it represents really the, the, the whole purpose of why we do memorials and why we, um, why we are here to honor those um, who lost their lives. And it's a quote by Frank Moss, who was a United States Senator from Utah. And it was, um, this quote was delivered during the groundbreaking in 1971 on December 7th when this was uh, when they started the construction. While we honor those who here gave their last full measure of devotion, all of us hope and pray that the time will come when we no longer need to dedicate memorials to men who died in battle, that we will dedicate memorials to those who live in peace, to all nations, and all men. Thank you for coming today. 
and um, I appreciate all the uh, the participation. I've this is the I've been here for, for this is my third um, event, and I'm, I'm I'm actually very moved by the number of people that are participating in this event this year. So I really appreciate you coming. Thank you, Mr. Leatherman. Now we'd like to remember the 58 crew members who perished aboard USS Utah. In keeping with this year's 82nd anniversary theme and passing on of a legacy of hope to the next generation, Cadets Nevea Woods and Audrey Kane of the Highland High School Junior ROTC unit from Sparta, Ohio, will read the names of each crew member lost aboard USS Utah the morning of December 7, 1941. Stan Sindrady, the Chief Interpretive Ranger with the Pearl Harbor National Memorial, will ring the bell after each name is called. Seaman Second Class William D. Arbuckle. Fireman Third Class Joseph Barda. Lieutenant Commander Rudolph P. Bielka. Seaman First Class Virgil C. Bigham. Lieutenant Junior Grade John E. Black. Fireman First Class John T. Blackburn. Seaman Second Class Pallas F. Brown. Fireman Third Class William F. Bruner. Officer Cook Second Class Feliciano T. Bugarin. Seaman Second Class George V. Chestnut Jr. Seaman Second Class Lloyd D. Clippard. Fireman First Class Joseph U. Connor. Fireman First Class John R. Crane. Seaman First Class David L. Crossett. Fireman Second Class Billy R. Davis. Seaman Second Class Leroy Dennis. Signalman First Class Douglas R. Rakoff. Seaman Second Class William H. Doser. Seaman First Class Vernon J. Eidesvig. Quartermaster Mevlin A. Gondre. Bosun mate Kenneth M. Gift. Seaman Second Class Charles N. Gregory. Lieutenant Junior Grade Harold A. Harbison. Seaman Second Class Clifford D. Hill. Baker Second Class Emery Howd. Ensign David W. Jackson. Seaman First Class Leroy H. Jones. Ship's Cook Second Class William A. Judas. Yeoman Third Class John L. Kalen. Gunner's Mate Third Class Eric T. Campmeyer. Fireman First Class Joseph N. Carabon. Seaman First Class 
William H. Kent. Gunner's Mate, Third Class, George W. LaRue. Lieutenant Junior Grade, John G. Little III. Seaman Second Class, Kenneth L. Lynch. Seaman Second Class, William E. Marshall Jr. Electrician Mate, Rudolph M. Martinez. Lieutenant Commander, Charles O. Michael. Seaman Second Class, Marvin E. Miller. Seaman Second Class, Donald C. Norman. Fireman Second Class, Oris N. Norman. Electrician's Mate Second Class, Edwin D. Odegaard. Chief Storekeeper, Elmer A. Parker. Ship's Cook Third Class, Forrest H. Perry. Seaman First Class, James W. Phillips. Machinist Mate First Class, Walter H. Ponder. Ship Fitter Third Class, Frank E. Reed. Seaman First Class, Ralph E. Scott. Fireman First Class, Henson T. Schaus. Machinist Mate First Class, George R. Smith. Seaman First Class, Robert D. Smith. Seaman Second Class, Joseph B. Sousley. Fireman Third Class, Gerald V. Strintz. Chief Water Tender, Peter Tomich. Fireman Third Class, Elmer H. Ulrich. Fireman Third Class, Michael W. Villa. Fire Controlman First Class, Bernard O. Wetrich. Fireman First Class, Glenn A. White. Thank you, Cadets Woods and Kane and Ranger Sindridi. At this time, I'd like to invite Lieutenant Chris Bell to provide the benediction. Let us pray. Gracious and eternal Father, thank you for the opportunity to gather this evening. On the 82nd anniversary of that fateful morning, we have taken time to solemnly remember sailors who faithfully served and perished with the USS Utah. As their names have been read, we have once again heard the echoes of sacrifices made by those entombed in this sacred place. On this occasion, it is appropriate that we recall the words of Abraham Lincoln, who said in another hallowed place, the world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. Indeed, as we depart, let us never forget those who carried out their duties, ultimately fulfilling the principles of honor, courage, and commitment as they gave the last full measure of devotion for their shipmates, families, and nation. May their legacy continue by your grace to live on in us and future generations as we continue to carry the mantle of freedom and hope. In your holy name I pray. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. We'd like to thank our wreath donors for the beautiful wreaths that you see on display on the memorial. It's Pacific Historic Parks, the National Park Service, and the sons and daughters of Pearl Harbor survivors. We invite everyone here to take flower petals from the basket and lay them in the water, paying your own personal tribute to the crew of USS Utah and all of those who gave their lives on December 7th. I invite you to enjoy the peace of the Hawaiian sunset and the promise of a new day it brings. Mahalo. Check, check. You can all can start coming up and we'll have the flower petals here and then you can walk out to the memorial.